how do you add a navigation menu to your website on Wix? So I've got a blank area up here in my header, but you can also add navigation to any part of your website. This is just how to add it here in the header. So I'm gonna click on this header area just so that when I add an element, it kind of goes up there. And then I'm gonna go to the plus icon and add some elements. I'm gonna come down here and find menu and anchor. And then you have some themed menus, horizontal menus, you have vertical menus. So it kind of depends on what you're trying to add and where you're trying to add it. But I'm gonna go up here to horizontal menus I'm just going to select this first one by clicking on it. Now you can drag and drop it, but I just clicked on it and it's going to put it into the section that I had selected, in this case, the header. So we've got this menu up in the header. We can drag it up and down. If we use this drag icon right here, it'll actually push the header down. Or if we click on the bounding box, we can drag this piece around. If I can get a hold of it, there you go. Just click on the box, drag it around. You can position it however you'd like. In this case, I'm gonna center it and make sure that I see that pink line, which is like a smart guide telling me this object is centered. Now, you might notice that when you bring this out, it actually brings out all the pages. So it's like smart enough to know all the pages you have on your site. We can go to a lot of different options up here and we'll just take them one by one. So let's check out Manage Menu. That actually opens up your pages and menu over here on the left hand side. So you actually have a button for that over here and you see all of your pages here. The ones that are hidden just by clicking on the three dots and going to hide or show. The ones that are hidden are not going to show obviously in our menu, but any other page will show in our menu. And if you have these guys linked underneath each other, like you can see how I can drag content underneath FAQ or contact underneath FAQ, that actually makes that a sub menu item of FAQ. So there's ways that you can drag these pages around to adjust how that's going to appear in your menu. And you can add pages and you can remove pages and you can also tell it to hide pages which would hide it from your menu, right? Okay, so we can manage the menu over here as far as our pages and what our menu items are. Oh, and one more thing, we can reorder this. So maybe about us is right before contact. We can just click and drag that down and you'll see in our menu out here it changes that as well. About Us moves to the other side of FAQ. All right, let's go back to the home page here. We're going to come back and select our horizontal menu. So we've got Manage Menu. We figured that out. Let's see what Navigate does. Navigate just goes to, it allows us to navigate to a certain page. So for instance, if you wanted to go to a page on your site to design it, you would just go click on that page over here. It's going to load up that page, and then you can go in and design it. That's all that Navigate is. But we also have this little gear icon, which is going to be advanced settings. So if you want to get into the advanced settings, you can. We're going to keep it basic in this one as if you're just adding a horizontal menu or vertical menu to your header or footer. Then you have the layout. Now in your layout options, you can determine whether it wraps or if it's a scrolling menu. Underneath scroll, essentially if you didn't have enough space, you could scroll. You see that little arrow? We're going to keep it as the standard kind of wrapping menu. So it's going to bump down if it were to go too far. Um, like it will wrap down its menu items. You can adjust here just the spacing between the elements, the vertical spacing between the items. If indeed you have multiple lines, you can tell all the items to fill the menu. So that's kind of like justifying all of the different menu items. Or you can not do that and you can align it. So like if you wanted the menu to be on the right hand side, the logo on the left, you would align this to the right and then adjust your horizontal spacing to the design that you like think looks best. So that's one way to do that. Or you can just have the menu items fill the whole menu and just shrink the edges to kind of adjust the horizontal spacing like that. And I'm gonna make sure this is centered, okay. Then what's the menu item direction? So right to left would take that list of menu items and invert it. And so home, the top menu item will start on the right and go to the left down to the contact item. So that's kind of an easy way to flip flop the direction of those menu items. You also have item padding. So there's spacing and then there's padding per individual item. So you can adjust that as well if you need to. Now the sub menu options, we don't have a sub menu right now, but if you needed to have like a sub menu, um, or a hover, like a drop down. You can go to the menu pages. Let's go add contact to about us. And then we can come back up here 
and take a look at those submenu items under layout. So we go to submenu now and we actually have a submenu now. So the question is, does it come down in columns? Does it just fly out from the about us pane? How do you align it? Is it left aligned, center aligned? The text items, you know, center aligned, left aligned, that kind of thing. And then the padding. So you can adjust all of those submenu items here as well. Now we're going to keep this submenu so we can see some more things in the design tab. We go to design tab. Obviously we selected a certain themed horizontal menu. You can very quickly change to any of these preset themes. Uh, if, if any of them, you know, if you like this underlined version better on indicating the page that you're on, like the active page, you can select that. But then you can also customize your design. So you can very quickly select whether you're um, adjusting the menu items, the sub-menu container or sub-menu items. You can adjust also the menu container. And then underneath all of these, you see we have background fills. We can do borders, corners, shadows. We can adjust the layout, like the padding of it, uh, change whether it's a transparent background or if it's a white background. And you can do that for each of these different options and even add different layers in here of the background. Now, of course, with a menu, you want a, like a regular state, so kind of like that passive state, and then also what happens when you hover over it. So you can go to the hover state. In this case, the hover state is a black underline underneath these guys, and then the current page would be like the active page look. What does it look like when you are actively on that page? It looks like the hover state, right? And then you can apply the regular design to any of these. So if I get this designed, and let's say I wanted to have, instead of um, this font being kind of thinner, I want it to be bold. I could bold it, but on the hover state, it may not be bold. And so what I might need to do is just apply the regular design to that and then adjust my hover state, etc. So that's something to look out for. Um, you know, when you're adjusting some of these different things, if they don't apply to the hover or the current page and you want them to, then you can apply the regular design and then make your extra adjustments for either of these two sections. So that's how you can change some of the menu design options. Now, we also have animation. So does this menu bounce in? Now, this is like the whole menu, and I don't think you would want this to, to actually have any animation on it, but there is the option for that. Stretching is just, does this stretch to the full width of the website? Do you give it margins that it stretches to? Um, you know, in this case, I would just keep it as a basic menu that we can control that horizontal spacing. But if we get this in here where we like it, and we can drag this section back up a little bit, that's how we can add a menu in here. But let's also take a preview look at this. So we can hit the preview button. And now that it's loaded the page, we can come in here and see if the hover states work. They do. So this is what it looks like when you hover over them. I think we could do a little bit of work on the sub menu. I didn't get in here and really design it, but I just showed you where those options were. And so if we click on the home page, you'll notice that now that we're on the home page, we navigated to it. There's actually an underline on it because that's the active state. When you hover over it, you don't see anything because the hover state and the active state look the same. So when I go to shop now, you see I can hover over these and just click on them and then that will be the active state. So that's the difference between like the passive state or the regular state, the active state, and then the hover state. And that is how you can add a menu or navigation menu to your Wix website.